Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, the next video that we're going to look at today is called The Greatest Woman Spoken Word. So I haven't seen this video yet. So uh, I got a lot of requests about this uh, particular video. So we're going to we're going to look at this and we're going to see what the what the greatest woman uh, spoken word looks like. So sit back and uh, relax and let's take a look and see what it is. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment and we'll we'll discuss the topic of the day, which is religion. It's been a pretty popular uh, topic over the last week or two. And uh, we're going to keep riding the wave. So let's see what the video looks like right now. OK, so let's take a look and see what it is here. You know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless. When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is. And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic. And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics. Seven in ten men view porn while over 75 million are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making one in four searches sexually related it's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views it's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of facebook likes Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like mm. so obsessed with our outside we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life I mean it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem looking at these magazines thinking they have to look like what they see please you are worth much more than a 2d image on a screen you are a living breathing human being if only you knew what you really mean just look into your history books and begin to read of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve and you will surely see with certainty females like Fatim al fihri who opened the first ever university Rufaid al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery and Haisha bint Abi Bakr the greatest female scholar in eternity it's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers a woman who stood strong even when she was abused falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do so it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her for she knew that God was Ar razaq and her ultimate provider and she had a trust in him alone just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this, a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her just like her daughter Fatima the master of all women in paradise a woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra the splendid one with the most generous of hearts 
a woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast she would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl and such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world and it had nothing to do with how they looked but for who they truly were So ignore the standard of success defined by society when God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color, or your race. For God does not look at your bodies, nor does he look at your face. Rather, he looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are, when you can be like the greatest of all women, in the eyes of Allah. That was a pretty uh, compelling piece there. Uh, again, I- I'm going to agree with him because when when you look at what society has become, it's more of, hey, look at me. How do I get more popular? How do I get more people to look at me? Uh, he spoke about... Um, the Facebook likes and how people, you know, that's how you judge somebody on how popular they are by their likes. And um, seven out of 10 men are addicted to porn. Um, Yeah, I mean, look, these are, this is the way that society is today. It's, I don't know if it's a, if it's a religion thing, if it's a cultural thing, if it's just a, a peer pressure thing. Uh, regardless of what it is, uh, th- this guy was pretty spot on. I mean, I have to agree that uh, a lot of the thing that this guy says, this is what is the current state of the world, and he he did use a lot of uh, he did use a lot of different uh, you know metaphors here and and different examples of of what's going on in the world today. And hey, he he was a hundred percent correct from from the rap music to the porn to the Facebook. Uh, references you know it, it goes on and on uh so yeah i i definitely um like i said i i i don't I, i'm not a very easy person to uh to sway to one way or another and i'm not here to say that i'm switching from christianity to muslim um that's not the case and that's not the point of the video it doesn't make a difference what my faith is. I'm just going over videos that you guys are asking for, and I'm reacting to them with a very unbiased, neutral uh, point of view. Uh, this guy, I just happen to like this guy's thinking. I happen to agree with almost everything this guy said in the in the, in the couple of videos that I, I've done so far. And uh, I'm definitely, uh, it's an eye-opener. It is an eye-opener for society because we worry about the, the 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 very trivial the very little trivial things that that make us happy and that they just mean nothing in life and um you know this this gentleman here he basically just laid it out for us that you know this this is what goes on and this is the rights and wrongs of what's going on and uh you know he referenced some pretty famous powerful women and you know he also referenced something about a woman that no one knew who she was until she got naked and that's the way you know that's the shock culture of the way we we live our lives today it's it's you know we don't care about the inside of anybody everything is outside appearance that that that's what strikes our our uh, our interest in somebody and you know uh clearly it's not the right thing to do morally it's not it's not right you know you should treat others how they treat you uh but that's not how society works society works on how good looking are you or how popular are you or how rich are you or you know things like that and you know that's that's where if you're a big believer in faith uh and good and evil people would say that you started off good and you were taking over by evil because you're doing everything against you know the what's right and wrong and you know uh greed is what propels that forward so yeah i I give this guy two thumbs up uh that this guy, he talks a powerful message, and I, I do love, and I said it on his other videos, I love the way how he articulates and how he tells the story. He turns it into like almost like a rap and a rhyme and a poem, 
and it comes out so smooth and compelling that it, it just it captivates you whether you like or don't like what this man is saying it, his message and the way he delivers it it's compelling it, it grabs you it hugs you you listen to the whole thing now like i said there's some videos that i don't agree with from beginning to end there's some videos i i agree with some and i don't agree with others but whether or not i agree with this man and for the most part i do i agree with almost everything that he says um he tells such a great story and he captivates your your attention span like that i mean he he gets you in the story and you stay there and you know and then it resonates like everything you know i like the flow of the of his delivery and then the message that he sends also is is very it's powerful so with that said um I, I'm I'm a big fan. I I like the uh I like the message on the video. Uh, the greatest woman spoken word. Uh, if this video brought you to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, and uh, tell me a little bit about this uh this video. Tell me what you think about it, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. So I'm already having a great day. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you at the next video. Peace.